up guys, I'm back with another cinematic tutorial, and today I have a nice drop fade. Up first, spray down the canvas and section equal party. With the number 2, debulk the entire head to have a nice workable area. Towards the back, I did use a number 3 to keep it a bit bulkier. Now with your preferred trimmer, create a baseline. Remember it's important to keep this baseline clean as it will shape up the entire cut. You then want to remove all excess hair. Shave off all the stubble using your shaver. With the lever open, make about a half inch guideline. Close up the lever fully now and hit this line halfway through, eventually opening up the lever as you go up. Guys, if you happen to have a hard time removing the baseline, you can grab your trimmer and hit it to erase it. Using the one and a half halfway closed, I now create a full inch guideline. Now with your half guard halfway open, create a half inch guideline. Open up the lever with the same guard and hit it another half inch. Also be patient and don't rush the haircut. Use the number one to soften up any lines. Finally, with the lever open, hit that last bottom baseline and you will now start to see a clean blend. I always suggest to use your corners in this case because you don't want to create another harsh line. Don't forget a clipper over comb if you see the cut being a bit too bulky.
As for designs, be careful and focus on just using one half, if not less, of the full blade itself. Guys, I did use a bit of fibers in this cut as well as a bit of hairspray to keep everything in place while I lined up. Towards the end, I do use a little bit of freehand to shape up the cut. I now use my curling sponge to enhance the curls and give off some volume. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you ain't. That's been it for me, I'm Marty Blends, and I'm out. Peace.